Hey guys, welcome to another Clean With Me video. I'm getting ready to have my Bible study girls over for our weekly meeting and I need to tidy up a little bit so I thought I'd show you how I get ready for them to come over and I'm also going to make the absolute best chocolate chip cookies for us tonight. They're just break and bakes but I have a little trick that's guaranteed to get you a compliment from anyone who tries them. I promise. I'll also show you how we revamped and downsized our living room. We found some modern farmhouse recliners from Walmart that we're loving. So if you want to see all this, just keep watching. And I hope you enjoy and we'll get some inspiration from this video. This room is right off the hallway and it's been a catch-all for everything since Christmas. I'm ready to clean it up and I've mentioned this before in other videos so you probably already know this about me, but I'm really okay with having people over and them seeing this room, especially my BS girls. We all know each other pretty well and I feel like they would give me some grace if I just let this room be like this when they came over. But I myself can't stand it any longer. It makes me feel better to have it clean. So having them over just gives me an extra push to get it done and not put it off another day. You'll see where I put a bunch of stuff in the closet and shut the door and I also have a pile of stuff that I end up taking upstairs because I'm not quite sure what to do with it. So that brings me to the question of the day. Comment down below and let me know. Do you hide stuff in your closet when people are coming over or just shove it in another room like I did? I'm basically going to show you where I take it to the top of the steps and I still don't really know what to do with it. So, But it's out of sight and out of mind for a little while and for the most part the place is cleaned up and makes me feel better. So please comment and let me know your answer to the question of the day. What's your trick to make things out of sight when company is coming? I'm not here on YouTube to make people feel bad by making them feel like my house is perfect. You'll see that it's not perfect and I don't mind sharing that. So please share with others so we can all feel great about ourselves. Queens and kings of everything I'll get love to the The room is all clean and I'll take a break before I go get dressed for work. And here is where everything lands if it needs to go upstairs in storage but I don't feel like taking it up. It just stays here and collects for a few days or a few weeks or a few months. There's even a few Christmas ornaments in this pile but since I have to go to work I'm just going to take it up to the top of the steps and deal with it later. It's out of sight for tonight. When we took our Christmas tree down, we moved our furniture around and in doing that, we decided we really didn't need this big furniture anymore. So we got it cleaned up and sold it within a week on Facebook Marketplace to a really kind couple. And then we took that money and went to Big Lots and bought a couch, some new decorations and some throw pillows. And we ordered two new reclining chairs from Walmart.com.
our living room is downsized now and a little refreshed for the new year and it's all from Big Lots and Walmart which I love because it's affordable and quick. We didn't have to wait four to six weeks for furniture delivery. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to work and pretty much when I get home from work, people will start coming over. So I need to have everything ready. We usually meet from seven to nine, so I just need to have some snacks and some coffee and some waters and it's pretty low maintenance. And I just wanted to show you here how the chair reclines. And here's the box that the Modern Farmhouse Recliner gets shipped in. It comes right to your front door from Walmart with free shipping. This video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing that this was a pretty good find for very uh, affordable upgraded furniture. And it was quick delivery to the house. Okay, so now it's time for the best chocolate chip cookies. The best break and bake chocolate chip cookies anyway. So I like the Nestle Break and Bakes and I always use parchment paper for easy cleanup. And my trick is to break up a few of the squares and put little pieces on top of each cookie and press a little. This makes the middle thicker and they always turn out yummy this way. I also undercook them so it says to bake for 12 to 13 minutes but I bake mine for 11 minutes every time and take them out even when you think that they're not done. Let them cool on the cookie sheet and they continue to cook just a little bit more and you may need to test out your oven for how soon you need to take them out but even if they're still glossy on top take them out that's my trick they'll taste delicious they have like a thick center and i swear they're always really good i need to make some right now because i'm hungry <laughs> So I put some waters on the counter and when I get home I'll put these Cheez-Its in a bowl for something salty. I could gaze at the stars, take my and I wanted to show that we have another bloom on our amaryllis. This is the neatest thing. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And I have the coffee pods filled up and I keep this container in the cabinet. I can just pull the whole thing out when I need it. It has the sugar and the creamer and the stirs. And that's it. We're ready for tonight. This is the book we're studying now and we've been together as a group for many years and have been through many different studies together. And at the end of our gatherings, I try to get a picture of us because we always have such a good time together celebrating God's love. Keep laughing. Make another joke, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs>